Alright, here we go guys. Time to head to the last phone mission now. Or at least I think it's the last. And I'm trying to sort out my headset then, I've just run over an old guy. I can't believe how much money we've got already. Almost enough for us to finish the game. Although we can't finish the game yet, that's not an option. I saw you, I wasn't going to stop. Kingdom Come, I don't know what mission this is. I do not remember this mission. Maybe I do. Oh no. Oh no, please don't be this mission. If this is a mission with the psycho naughty bombers. I hate this mission if it is. We'll actually drive over there first though. This car doesn't seem to be going very fast. They got some speed. Oh, come on. I think it is. It's looking dangerously close to the car park of doom. Oh, crying out loud it is. This mission is stupid as fuck. Like, this mission is genuinely stupid as fuck. These guys are creepy as fuck. Stay away from me. Oh my god. There we go. Here's how we're going to take them out. Come here. Get near your car. There we go. Oh. They're just never ending. Proper quiet, then that was too intense. I hate that mission so much. Right, we are gonna need a car, and luckily, this is the only car that's left. Oh, I was gonna try and jump over that wall and show you all an Easter egg that you've probably all seen before, anyway, but hey ho. Right, I think that is all of the phone missions done. 
So that's just it. The Yardies just don't want anything else to do with you at this point. Not really sure why. But I didn't really want anything to do with them in the first place, so... All has worked out well. Which means we can now get back to Asuka's missions. And... Also means that we are... I'm just checking the stats really, how many missions I've done. 34! We've not done bad. Well, I think the Yardies hate us for some reason now. Because I think from now on you get just get randomly attacked by Yardies. Everyone just hates us. We're really starting to feel the pressure. Azuka's missions should be interesting. I can remember a couple of them. I remember there's that one that pretty much takes the Mickey out of Driver. And I think there's one where you gotta take out these Mafia Hitman. Mafia hit one, a hitman one might be next as well. Actually, it makes sense really, considering we've just killed Salvatore. I'm going to steal a Yakuza Stinger as well because this vehicle is far too slow for me. Whoa! Everyone's just out to kill me. Here we go. Under surveillance, yeah, I think this is the one. Or maybe not. Salvatore's death comes as pleasurable news. You're an efficient killer. I like that new man. Ah, this is my brother, Kenji. I think I have a little job for you. But when you're done, drop by my casino and we can talk. Yes, don't worry. Just like Kenji, always trying to play with my toys. Yeah. My police source indicates that the Mafia are watching our interests around the city in a bid to track you down. We cannot continue our operations until they are dealt with. Take out these spying fools and end this vendetta once and for all. I think I've got a limited time to do this then. Yeah, here we go, 6.30. That the car's still blowing up. One great thing about this game is you get money for when the cars blow up. Right. Let's do this. We will successfully do this mission first time. Now, I'm pretty sure the first one is in the park up here. Luckily, I am packing some extreme heat. Although we can probably just use a sniper rifle, really. Oh, you bastard. He's not gonna let me. You guys really are bastards, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, I know that the last ones are they're on like these balconies watching over Kenji's club. I'm trying to figure out where these other ones are though. I know the Kenji club ones are on the left. So we'll go for the dot on the right. Whatever that might be. Where else are they going to be watching over there? Oh, here we go. Lucky here, we got ourselves an armoured van. Bye! <laughs> that took care of him. 
Whoa, was that prostitute going to try and take me out then? Everyone in the city is against me. I've not even done anything. Shit. Oh. My driving skills suck so much. Right, last one is here. I'm going to need to get a high point, but I'm also going to need to stay away from them because they're all packing extreme heat. So we're going to go to the top of this roof here. There was a really cool boss fight on this roof in Liberty City Stories, actually. Oh, and look what we got here. As well as a helicopter that we can't fly. Yeah, just you try it. He should be the last one. There we go. That is a really easy mission. You can fall such incredible heights on these PS2 games and not lose hardly any health. Right, we're not going to do Kenji's missions yet. I want to do all the bazookas. Fuck's up my Benji, dude. So we'll go get some uh, armor again. At this point in the game now, it's pretty much a necessity that I have armor at full on every single mission. You die so quickly in this game, it's unbelievable. I don't need it's any ID. You look trustworthy. Absolutely trustworthy. Let's go park this in the garage with our other banjo or not. I believe there's quite a few like boat missions actually in this game, um, or at least for Azuka. She keeps making us go out on a boat and the waters are dead choppy in this game. I think Asuka's probably got like two missions left or something. So depending on how hard they are and how long it takes me, I'll do these two missions and that'll be it for tonight. But uh, we'll see how hard they are because... I don't think they are actually. I think it's when you play, as Ken you play Kenji's missions that it starts getting tougher. Who is attacking me? Are you for real, Yardies? I've just helped you. Assholes. Right. Paparazzi purge. A reporter has been nosing around. Marie and I have taken a little holiday together until you can get rid of this perverted voyeur. He's probably out in the bay as you read this. Steal a police boat and sink his career. And there just happens to be a police boat in the docks that we are next to now. Right, so that's the guy we need to take out. Really wish you could swim in this game. Doesn't matter what iteration of Liberty City, you can never swim in the waters of Liberty City. I think they made a canon explanation for that actually, that the waters were just really polluted and toxic. Which probably wouldn't surprise me really. Oh wow. It's actually a relatively nice day for once. We've got sunshine. Don't normally have that in Liberty. It's a circle to fire. Alright, so this is fairly easy. I could have swore there's one way you do a boat mission like this and someone's throwing grenades out at you, but... I could just be imagining it. Okay, this dark guy is dying really quickly. There we go. <laughs> that, 
is incredibly easy. Oh look, the Diablo missions are back again. You can actually redo the phone missions over again, or I think it's just like the first mission of the phone missions because you tend to have the vehicle at missions. So we're not going to go back and do them though. Always progressing with the story, that's me. Right, now I've got to successfully make it onto the island without drowning. There we go. It's always the scariest thing trying to get back onto an island in GTA 3 or Vice City. Because you're like an inch away from death. Too bad in GTA 3 because getting your guns back and paying for them and everything isn't that expensive. Stop shooting at me, I was your ally once. Right. It's gonna be night time again. Really dingy and horrible. Right, so we got the last um, Suka mission, I think. And I think this is the complete piss tech of driver. Just throwing that little jab in there, and I bet that's what made them so angry, and then they decide to make Driver free. I mean, to be fair, my nostalgia probably clouds it, but I used to love playing Driver free when I was young. But again, it's probably nostalgia clouding my judgement. It's probably not that much of a good game. Or not. Maybe that's another mission. It's my handsome handyman. Maria's all tied up at the moment, but I'll tell her you call. Who's that, Asuka? You know, I know I've been a naughty girl, but I really need to pee, okay? It's time you met our man inside the LPD. Here's a payment for the last little job he did for us. He is understandably cautious. Get to the payphone in Torrington as quick as you can and await his instructions. I have so many weird images in my head right now. Alright, so now we get to go meet Ray, who is, as you can tell, a massively corrupt cop. But this city's probably got loads of them anyway. So it's just one corrupt cop in a soup full of corrupt cops. Right, so we just gotta find these payphones. Yeah, I'm using a very fast vehicle because we're going to be back and forth up this island. Right, okay, here's the first payphone. Man. Yeah, you really have no room for errors as well in this mission. So, no crashing. Yeah, I thought for sure this phone was going to be in the park. Only west of Belleville Park means the main stretch of road leading to the third island. Okay, we're going to take a shortcut.
Oh, sugar tits. I completely messed up my car. This guy is very nervous. Get to the phone in South Belleville Park. You like me? How about I just don't turn up? And you just hide away in your little hidey hole. The time has gone now. Hey, asshole. Oh, I want to explode my vehicle. You must be Azuka's new errand boy. You got the money. Is it all here? I know what you're thinking. Another bent cop. Well, it's a bent world. Just because I lost a few partners, those suckers from internal affairs have started sniffing around. Reckon they can smell me. Well, this city is one big open sewer, but I'm gonna need some non-union help. And if you're interested, you know where to find me. And this is the part where we're going to leave him standing in the toilets for some time. Uh, I'm 90% sure the next Sue commission is the last one. So you know what, why not? I'll go do that last one. No point leaving you on a cliffhanger. Let's go save the game because I really don't want to be driving across the city again to meet Ray. I'll get that back out of there in a minute. What was Ray doing in the toilets at half six in the morning? Right. There we go, time to go after this badly animated copper. What the yard is even doing this far down? Yeah, here we go. This is it. Maria and I have gone shopping. Our source in the police has informed us that one of our drivers is a strangely animated undercover cop. He's more or less useless out of his car, so we've tagged it with a tracer. Make him bleed. Okay, the floor's just disappeared. My copy of GTA 3 has gone really, really buggy. Okay, so... This guy is... Basically an undercover cop. Who's working for this gang. Okay, I'm not doing that ramp. I'm not stupid. That was a very hard ramp to do, that was, when I was trying to get the 100%. Just try to take a shortcut. Alright. There we go, hopefully his car isn't armoured. 
we go. His model even looks ugly. Completely ripping off that PS1 game. No, you assholes. Get back here. Okay, and the cops just suddenly leave me alone. I completely forgot about that four star wanted level. <laughs> Cops in this game are savage. Oh, I almost went flying to a cop car. That would have been number six. Right. So that's that. Uh, next time we come on, we will be doing the Kenji missions first. I want to get those out of the way first. They're not too bad. It definitely gets harder now, though, with the Kenji and the Ray missions. So that's that guys, we are actually really making our way through this game at the moment. We are over, well, no, about halfway through the game already. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying this let's play. I haven't failed that much, which is an absolute relief and also quite a surprise as well, because like I said, this game is quite hard. So until next time guys. Uh, I hope you have a good one, and I will see you in the near future with some more splashy, splashy GTA 3. Goodbye.